don't know what to say. Hey guys, welcome back to my blog. Thank you so much for joining me again. I wanted to do a, another video. I figured that the vlog that I did for Face Gym and previous video content, you guys loved that sort of stuff. I thought it would be quite fun to put together a Christmas list for people with facial paralysis. Doesn't necessarily have to be facial paralysis. This can be a gift list in case you want to give someone that you love something really luxurious or something to pamper themselves with. Anyone who's been going through a tough time, these are some items that are gonna be really great to gift anybody. I've picked these because as someone with facial paralysis, these would be things that I would love to receive as gifts and have actually received as gifts. And they've all benefited me on my recovery in different ways. So yes, thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you like this video and let's get into the items. So the first item on my Christmas gift list is the Face Gym Massage Ball. So if you watched my previous video where I went and got a signature sculpt session at Face Gym, you saw that they used this item on me and I absolutely loved it. It was incredible for facial stretching, just helping to release all that tension. It's really comfortable, lovely pressure, and it's a lot of fun. I'm able to just sit on the sofa watching some TV and roll it around my face Face, stretch out my muscles, especially my cheek and my eyebrow. It comes in a cute little bag as well, so it helps to kind of keep it clean when it's in your drawer or on your bedside table. I just think that this is a great stocking filler for Christmas. Another one that I didn't get from Face Gym, but what they used on me during my session is the Multi Sculpt Tool. It was so thin, it was really cool. It helped with lymphatic drainage in my skin. I mean, it can do so many different things to your face that I think that. That is definitely an item that you can get someone. I mean, I haven't got one, so I'm gonna put that on my Christmas list in case anyone needs any ideas. So the second tool I'm going to talk about, you already know that I love this one. This featured in my tools post of earlier on in the year. It is the ice roller. This is a great item. I got this for 14 pounds off ASOS. And with next day delivery, this is great in case you're struggling to find something, you haven't got anything yet, and it can come straight away. This little baby helps relieve my tension, any headaches, any pain that I've got in my face. You saw my previous video, you know how much I love this one. I spoke to one of my followers who actually bought this item after I posted that blog, and she said that this is really helping relieve the tension in her face. So this is tried and tested by people with facial palsy. Even if you don't have it, it's the most soothing tool. It just helps your face feel cool and relieved and relaxed. This is a great gift. So my final tool that I want to show you guys, again, this one featured in my tools post along with the ice roller. It's this amazing little rose gold acupressure tool. Now, a lot like the ice roller, you can pop this in the freezer or the fridge for 20 minutes before you use it. And I've used this so much around my eyebrows and my eyes to help relieve tension and sort of press into my pressure points. It's also helped relieve a lot of headache. It comes in this really cute little pink pouch and I actually carry this around in my bag with me. So if I'm at work or I'm out for the day and I start to feel that tension coming along or a little headache, I can just use this to stretch those muscles out, sort of press into those points and it instantly helps relieve that tension. So another great item. So once I've done my facial stretches with my tools, with my hands, I love nothing more than slathering my face in a really good face cream. I find that I need something that's really hydrating, really soothing, and just makes my little red raw skin and sore little muscles just feel relaxed and nourished and pampered. So I use this little baby. Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I mean, this stuff is incredible. I mean, I've been using it for a few years, even before I got facial paralysis. And now that I have to do stretches, it is just the best moisturizer to be able to replenish my skin and give it all the nutrients that it needs in order to stay healthy and hydrated and also gives me really glowing, amazing skin. I actually prefer creams to lotions. I just prefer how they feel on my skin. So this one is perfect. It comes in two different sizes and Charlotte's actually making this refillable. So once you're done with the cream, you can just buy a new one and pop it straight back into the jar. And it means that whoever you gift it to is able to keep themselves topped up. Also for Christmas, you can get the 50 milliliters personalized with an engraving on the lid, which I think is a really cute little touch. So this is a really nice gift to give 
anyone that has to do facial stretches. Just that really lovely nourishing feeling afterwards. If they do it at night, it's a great cream to put on before bed or in the morning. It hydrates you for the whole day. It's an instant turnaround moisturizer and I wouldn't do my stretches or life basically without it. Eye protection is a really big part of facial paralysis. I found that even over a year later, my eye still has moments where it's not able to fully close, and that means that I have to keep it protected when I go outside to make sure that the wind doesn't damage my eye. But eye protection doesn't have to be medical. I've been trying to sort of make it more chic, and a great item to gift someone to be able to do this is sunglasses. These sunglasses are actually gifted to me by my parents last year, and oh my goodness, Goodness, they came through with Chanel. Chanel. Chanel! I know. I mean, when I opened these, I nearly cried because I was like, oh my goodness, they're gonna look so good. These incredible aviator shades. I love these because they actually have a lot of surface area to be able to cover my eye so I don't have any wind going into it and it makes going outside, going for walks, going into town so much more comfortable. It's a really lovely gift to give someone but you don't have to go full luxury with this item. In the past I found amazing shapes on ASOS and there's also a great brand I found on Instagram called Chimi and they do amazing style shades. I think if you're wanting to gift someone a pair of these go for a large surface area on the lens and what I also love in some designs is the thick arm that goes along the side and that gives you a multi-dimension of eye protection. You're protecting the eye from the front and the sides from any wind. I've got a pair on my wish list that are actually from Prada. I know, I'm probably going to gift those to myself. I just love how thick they are on the sides. It just looks like it gives you that really all-round protection and it doesn't make you feel like you have to do it for a medical reason. I love them so much. They are my babies. I take such good care of them. They're probably the first press I'm glasses I haven't sat on and I keep them protected in their little leather case. They come everywhere with me, whether it's raining, sunshine, cold, hot, whatever. Any time of year you need eye protection. So a pair of sunglasses is the perfect gift to give someone with facial paralysis. Another sort of eye protection, maybe not eye protection, a bit more like face protection, is a baseball cap. I really love a baseball cap. I think the brim at the front is amazing for protecting your eye, from protecting your face when you're outside. Might be a little cold and it just helps keep the wind off. Because I've realized that even on my face, if the cold wind hits it, it's more painful. So popping this on, I'm able to walk, kind of keep my head down and it just gives me that extra layer of protection that I feel like I need and I mean it's a great accessory to start wearing as well it doesn't feel like you're having to wear one for again medical reasons you can just chuck this on with a puffer jacket or a blazer and it looks really chic I love it so much I actually got this one off ASOS for 19 pounds so it's a great find if you're gonna gift this for someone I would say stick with a really neutral color like a black gray white or a tan that way that they can wear it with any sort of outfit any color any day style you could even go full designer with this style I love the ones from Act Axel Arigato. I think those ones are super chic and clean. If they're not into baseball caps, you could probably find a hat that's more their style, but I would always say go for one that's got a sort of edge and something that's gonna give their face that extra level of protection. Something that I've been getting into quite recently with the help of my therapist is to actually keep a journal. So gifting a journal for Christmas is a really nice touch to show someone that you're acknowledging the trauma that they've been through and the pain they might be feeling and that they might actually need a little extra help with this. I got this really lovely one from LSW London. It's actually an Etsy shop. Christmas is an amazing time of year to support small owned businesses is. Etsy's a great place to find items like these. They come with personal letters and touches. I love this one with the gold detailing. I found that this has been a really helpful tool with actually getting my thoughts out of my head and onto paper. They don't end up clogging my brain and making me overthink and getting me anxious. And it's been a really lovely technique to try. I also really love the designs and the prints from Papier. They do some really lovely hardback journals, some paper journals, all different styles, patterns, you name it, 
there's something on there for everyone. I think that that is a great item to give to someone. My final item in my video today has got to be the Good Vibes, the Good Life book. This was gifted to me by a really good friend of mine on my birthday and it's just such a great read. I haven't been able to put it down. Whenever I'm commuting, I actually read this on the train. I love it so much. It's got amazing techniques on how to lift your vibration, to put good energy out into the world. It's got great tips and techniques on how to handle those painful thoughts, those hard moments during your day. It's not self-help, it's not preachy. And I think when someone's gone through something, traumatic, like illness, or they've had something big happen in their life, the period after that can be really difficult. So giving someone something like this is a really lovely gesture. You can see that mine's like really bent from reading it so much. I'm actually nearly at the end of it, so I love this one. It's a great, great gift to give. So those are my top picks to gift someone with facial paralysis at Christmas. At the end of the day, anything that you give someone, they're gonna be super grateful for. But if you're struggling to come up with ideas for someone that you love, or you yourself have facial paralysis and you want to hint to someone that there's an item that you might want to go for, this video is just to give you a nice little guide, a nice little push in the right direction. They would absolutely love any of these items. I mean, who, who wouldn't? It's all about self-care. It's all about looking after yourself, feeling good. And these items are a great little gift to say that you are thinking about your friend who's going through their recovery journey, going through their healing, and especially us with a little bit of facial paralysis. So thank you so much for watching my video this week. Let me know if you yourself have received any items that you found incredibly helpful in your journey. I would love to know and I'd love to put them on my list as well. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. I will see you on my next vlog, blog, whichever one it'll be now, who knows. Yeah, thanks very much guys. See you later.